From poisonous snakes to ancient lions, here are 10 incredible animal mummies. Number 10. A Crocodile The ancient Egyptians loved to mummify things. You will have seen plenty of images of mummified people, or maybe even one in real life at a museum. Let me know if you have, I would love to hear about your experience. But their fondness of the process of mummification went much further. They even went as far as to mummify a crocodile about 2,000 years ago that was about 8 feet long. At first glance, you might think it's simply a work of art, but recent scans have shown that beneath the layers of colorful linen and a mask are actually the mummified remains from two different Nile crocodiles, with two skulls, a shoulder bone, and a femur. It's not known where these remains were found because the first records of them came from the early 1900s, when they were purchased by Phoebe Hurst, a philanthropist. Crocodiles were actually a popular creature to be mummified back in ancient Egypt, with mass graves having been found containing large numbers of them as offerings to the crocodile god Sobek. Number 9. A Snake Okay, now this looks like a mound of old rope or some dirty bandages or something at first glance, but if you look closer, it soon becomes clear that this is really a mummified snake. You can even see its head peeking out from the bottom, can you see it? where the linen has decayed and fallen away after 1,000 years. Again, snakes were commonly mummified in ancient Egypt and wrapped in linen shrouds. There were a number of reasons why they did this. Trust me, there is a method to the madness. It could have been as a preservation technique for food, a way to immortalize deceased pets, or most commonly as offerings to the gods. There were four different Egyptian snake deities, and their worshippers would sacrifice snakes in the hope that they would protect them and their families from being bitten by poisonous ones. No antidote anywhere back then. Number 8. Cats Animal mummification in ancient Egypt began about 3,000 years ago, but reached its peak between 650 BC to 200 AD. They would take animals that meant a lot to them to get mummified, with one of the most common being cats. Now people get their precious pets stuffed, or even cloned like Barbra Streisand. They were first sacrificed to the protective goddess Bastet, and were mummified in the millions. Yes, that's right, many millions of cats were killed for this purpose, and perhaps more disturbingly, the majority of these were kittens because it was easier to fit them into containers. Archaeologists have found massive troves of these artifacts, and they were so common that their remains were used for unexpected purposes. In the late 19th century, for example, they were acquired by agricultural companies. One company purchased more than 180,000 cat mummies, which weighed about 38,000 tons. They pulverized the remains and used them as fertilizer for fields across England. Lovely thought, right? If the Egyptians treated animals that they revered in this way, just imagine what they did with ones that they held in lesser regard. And now for number 7, but if you are new here, welcome, and be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Number 7. A Gazelle This next animal mummy is that of a gazelle. Quite often, Egyptians would have animals that were important to them mummified and buried along with them when they died, to ensure that the animal was taken care of in the afterlife. One necropolis south of Komir in Egypt was found to contain a large number of gazelle mummies within a temple complex. They were all found with their limbs tucked underneath their bellies, in a similar way to how they were often depicted in artworks. Most of the gazelles that have been found were female, and the mummification process is often described as being very poor, nothing like the precision and care that was taken when preserving humans. This is probably because the people who made them had to deal with such vast numbers of animals that they simply didn't have enough time to perform their best work. Number 6. Vulture Next is an animal that flew the skies of ancient Egypt, scavenging for prey in the hot climate. The vulture. There were actually at least five different species that lived at that time, and they were closely aligned with a number of deities, at least five of them. Quite often, they were used to represent the virtues of femininity, often in opposition to the scarab that was the representation of masculinity. So, male was the beetle and feminine was the vulture. Things have changed a lot if that used to be how the sexes were represented. I don't see a vulture as being very feminine, do you? The goddess Nekbet was the patroness of El Kab, a city in Upper Egypt. It became an important settlement early on in the Egyptian culture, so the vulture became a heraldic creature for all of Upper Egypt. For this reason, important figures wanted to be buried alongside them so they would be accompanied into the afterlife, and it's quite common to find a mummified vulture in tombs of the rich and powerful. 
That's comforting. When you die, you'll be accompanied by a vulture. Most examples have been prepared meticulously, which shows just how revered the creatures were. Number five, the bull. Bulls were sacred animals to many gods in Egyptian culture, so much so that there would always be one that was revered in temples at Armont, Memphis, and Heliopolis in honor of the gods Montu, Ta, and Re. They were given ceremonial markings to distinguish them from others and were treated to luxurious lifestyles. These privileges extended to death, too, with each of the bulls being mummified in the same way as a wealthy Egyptian would have been and then buried in vast catacombs. A series of 24 giant black boxes that were found near the Great Pyramid of Giza are thought to be the last resting place for bulls that were kept in honor of the god Apis. There was also a tradition of mummifying bull calves, such as this one, where the process would have been less expensive. The body was wrapped in a way to make the calf appear as if it was sitting down, but the bones inside the bandages tend to be in a jumbled state to enable this. Calves were killed at between 10 and 12 months for this and would typically have their eyes depicted in a dark color and feature elaborate patterns across their chests. Number 4. The Baboon The discovery of mummified baboons in ancient Egypt is significant for a few reasons. The first is that their fondness of capturing and killing the creatures led to a massive reduction in population, to the point where they became endangered, and also because the study of these mummies has answered one of the mysteries of ancient Egypt. Several ancient texts that date back to 3,000 years ago detail voyages to the land of Punt, a place of fragrances, giraffes, and exotic goods. It was also referred to as Ta Netjer, which means God's land, and was a region of extreme significance for the Egyptians. Despite this, no one has ever been sure exactly where the land of Punt was. That was until the mummies of the baboons were studied. The animals were one of the treasures that it was known were brought back from the mystical place, and analysis of hair samples has enabled researchers to deduce their place of origin, the region that lies between Ethiopia and Eritrea. As with other animals, the Egyptians liked to mummify young baboons in a cost-saving measure, and also because they found them to be more aesthetically pleasing. Usually, they were arranged in a seated position before the bandages were applied and would have been placed inside tombs to assist with the journey in the afterlife. So you could have all kinds of critters accompanying you in the afterlife. Number three, lions. During an investigation into one of the many tombs that contained mummified cats, researchers found one that was a much larger feline, and it turned out to be a lion. The bones had been carefully arranged so that it appeared to be lying on a rock with its head stretched out. The tomb was found in the Saqqara Cemetery, along with the remains and tributes to the wet nurse of King Tutankhamun. It had long been thought that the ancient Egyptians kept lions in captivity, mainly based on inscriptions that had been found, but it was only when this mummy was discovered that it was known for certain. The lion's remains were found to be in great condition, with the bones showing the telltale signs of the mummification process. Even though lions were associated with the pharaohs, and often depicted in inscriptions with them, it's thought that this mummy was deposited in the tomb much later on, as a tribute to the cat-headed goddess Bastet. Number 2. The Salamander Mummification is a process that doesn't necessarily have to be carried out by an ancient Egyptian, and occasionally, naturally formed mummies can be found. Scientists were examining what they thought was a 34 to 40 million year old French salamander fossil when they found something completely unexpected. The fossilization of an animal sees all of its flesh and organs decay, and their imprint is left on the rock that forms around it. In this case, though, they discovered preserved organs inside the fossil that included the salamander's lung, a spinal cord, muscles, its genitals, and even the remains of a partially digested frog in its digestive tract. Not only is it incredibly rare to find samples of organs from creatures that lived so long ago, it also represents the first known example of a species of salamander that ate frogs. These finds mean that there's a lot to still be learned about the development of the species, but more importantly, completely rethinks the way that studies of fossils will be conducted. Who knows, maybe something much older, such as a dinosaur fossil, might still contain tissue samples that could bring a whole new understanding of ancient species. Number 1. 8 Million Mummified Dogs This is possibly the most shocking discovery of animal mummies ever made. As I've already mentioned, the ancient Egyptians worshipped many different gods, many of whom were associated with animals and they mummified creatures as offerings. One of the most feared gods was Anubis, the god of death. 
With a jackal head, he was the god of canines, and the Egyptians went to extreme lengths to stave off the inevitability of their passing. They built large temples in his honor, but the catacombs that were built next to the most sacred temple to Anubis hid a horrifying secret. More than 8 million mummified puppies and dogs. Yes, there were 8 million of them. The catacombs are in Saqqara and would have been the main driver of the region's economy during its heyday. The huge numbers of mummies meant that thousands of people would have been involved in their production. Nowadays, there are hardly any left, though. Most were taken by grave robbers and people looking to produce cheap fertilizer. If the construction of this catacomb wasn't weird enough, researchers found something even more unexpected, the fossil of an ancient marine creature in the ceiling. It's not known if the Egyptians who dug into the rock even knew about its presence, but it sure goes to show you that the city of Saqqara was inextricably linked with death and sacrifice, maybe even millions of years before the Egyptians themselves settled there. Thanks for watching! Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time! Bye!